Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card and we are using one of the new items over at Spellbinders. This is called the Butterfly Burst. I thought this was so pretty. It's a paintbrush um, that you can create and then there's some butterflies that go along with it. You get two solid butterflies and then three butterflies with details in them. But isn't it? It's just so pretty. And I thought the paintbrush would be really fun to create, um, to create with. So we're going to jump in. This collection here, um, this is part of a brand new collection at Spellbinders. And the set that I'm using is called Butterfly Burst. There's a lot more to the collection, um, but it's the Paint Your World collection. So I'm excited to get to share with you a project using this. First, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of die cutting. I'm going to die cut up this. Okay, I have some Portobello cards, Portobello, Portobello <laughs> cardstock. It's like a craft. And I'm going to die cut out the handle of my paintbrush with this. And then there's also the bristles. Obviously, this is not long enough for your paintbrush. So you're going to want to die cut this out a few times. And I'm going to be using some white cardstock for that. And I'm going to be just using the solid silhouette um, butterflies. There's um, a medium and a small. And then I'm going to take this piece. This is like the metal piece. I have some silver mirror cardstock. I'm going to die cut that out with that. Now on the very base of your paintbrush, um, the very bottom is going to cut out. So you're going to want to die cut that out. Um, with the silver mirror cardstock too. So once I have this die cut out, I'm going to die cut out just the, the base part of the paintbrush with the silver mirror cardstock. And I'm going to leave it at that. So let's do some die cutting. Okay, I have all my pieces die cut out. And you see what I meant when I, the bottom of the brush um, die cuts off? I'm going to replace that bottom with the silver. And I'm going to go ahead and use some glue. Just tack that on there. So we have a silver bottom and then um, you have the silver piece that goes at the base of the, the paintbrush. I want um, those circles behind here to be black. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue and then I trim down a very small strip of black cardstock. I'm going to place that on the reverse side of my silver mirror and I have to trim this down a little bit. And then I will go ahead and add a little bit of glue to my paintbrush and we'll pick this up. And it fits like a glove on the top of your paintbrush. So that's where we'll put it. And I think that looks so real. <laughs> there is um, embossed detail on the, the base of the brush, which makes it really nice. Okay, now we have a whole... I die cut out five. I may not use them all. But these are your paintbrush bristle, paint brush bristles. <laughs> I'm going to keep them separate for, for now. And then, of course, I, I did two sets of butterflies. Um, too large and then too small. Now my idea is to do a little bit of water coloring today. So to do that we need some panels. And I wanted to make a mini slimline. I haven't did that in a while and so my mini slimline, my panels here, let me zoom back out because we're going to need a little extra room. Okay, my panels. Um, are sized for these dies here. These these dies are from the large die of the month club. I think they have these separately, um, but they're perfect for mini slimline. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use uh, both the largest dot dash detail ones, 
and I'm going to run these through my die cutting machine. I'm going to bring in my my liquid color. Now I don't know if Spellbinder still has the liquid color, but basically this is like liquid watercolor. And so I thought we would use these. If Spellbinders does still have them, um, I'll link them down below. But I think they're fading these out. But I chose three colors. I have a blue, which is lovely blue, lemon drop, which is yellow, and then sweet pear. And that Maybe Limeade Splash would be better. Let's do the, oh, I'm going to do Limeade Splash instead of the Sweet Pear. Maybe get a brighter, brighter color. So these three colors. We're going to start with the blue. Add a little bit. Then I have a paintbrush here. I'm going to leave it full strength. And somehow I got yellow on there, but that's okay. I'm going to, I need to know the width. So it's about two of these. And I'm going to go from here and just add some strokes. I think that's going to work fine. We're going to do our next color, which is yellow. We're going to put yellow on the opposite side. I need to clean my brush to make sure it's clean. Okay. And then I'm going to put yellow on the opposite side, going straight up. Full strength. And I like, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see better. I'm kind of liking the way that looks. Now, after we have, oh, I should have dipped those in there. We'll go back and do that. But next what I want to do is I'm going to use my heat gun and dry this now. And then I'll go in with my Limeade Splash, which is very concentrated. And then I'll take my paintbrush. I think I'm going to add a little water to this one. That one is pretty thick. And then I'll add this down the middle. And I think that looks pretty cool. Should we add some splatters? Let's add some splatters. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of my bristles and we'll dip it in our paint halfway up. I think that looks good. We'll wipe that off. I'm going to bring back a little bit of blue. Clean off my brush here. First we'll add some splatters. Add a little more blue. And then we'll dip one of our paintbrush pieces. And our blue. And I'm gonna splatter some yellow. Lovely. And then we'll maybe add another stroke or two of the yellow. And then we'll dip one of our paintbrushes in yellow too. There we go. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and dry this. Or I'm going to go ahead and flip over my panel and add lots of tape. I'm thinking it will flatten and then I'm going to line this up corner to corner on some black cardstock. Press down really good. So we have some black polka dots behind there and then we'll trim off the excess. And that helped flatten my panel. Now for my sentiment, I'm going to be using the Spellbinders Build a Sentiment stamp set. And I'm going to stamp happy. Lovely. And then we have every day in here, and that's what I want to stamp. I'm going to stamp that on some black cardstock though. And I'm going to stamp every day with my Versamark. Did I say every, every day? I meant everything. <laughs> and we'll go over this with some white embossing powder. Go ahead and melt that. And I'll go ahead and block this off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop up my paintbrush base. Actually, we got to build it. So let's add some adhesive behind here. And then we'll add our blue. And then we'll add our green. I'm going to add a little more adhesive since we're going to overlap and then I think that looks good and then we'll add our yellow I'm going to switch places with the green and the blue because that's what it looks like on our panel And look crooked. And then we'll add our blue. I think that looks super neat. And I want to do a little bit more filler with my leftover pieces. And then I added my two fillers in the very back. I just think that is just the neatest thing. I'm going to flip this panel around and we're going to add some foam tape behind it. Okay, I also added a piece of foam tape behind the bristles. I don't think you're going to be able to see it since I have so many layers. But I'm going to go ahead and add this to my project. I think that turned out pretty neat. <laughs> I'm excited about that. Okay, I'm going to take my panel and then this time we're going to flip this over and add some foam adhesive behind Okay. Now this panel, I'm going to flip this around and we're going to add some adhesive behind here. And then this is going to go on our card base. For my slimline, it is um, three and a quarter inches wide by six and a quarter inches tall. And that should fit this panel beautifully. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my watercolor panel. And then we'll add our everything. Lovely. And then we have our butterflies. I'm going to keep, I kept these white because this way I can add a little bit of glue 
and I can put them on our little paint area and they think they will stand out. Couple on our paintbrushes. I haven't used my sparkle pen in a very long time, but I think it's gonna be perfect. To add to our paintbrush. And then last but not least, I want to add a couple clear gems. And I'm going to be using the crystal mix. And I'm just going to add a couple to the butterflies. I'll fluff up these wings a little bit. And that will finish my card for today. Using one of the brand new, um, brand new die sets. This is called the Butterfly Burst a little artsy work of art <laughs> but I thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful day we will see you soon bye, -bye.